guys it's Jenny coming at you for City Fan TV um, I was on the live earlier on to discuss the team lineups so for those of you that didn't know um, the lineup for Manchester City was unchanged from the last couple of games um, Abby Dalkem Dalkemper had kept her place um, in the defence and it was pretty much as, as it has been for the last few games um, so the game started off quite slowly but City were the ones that had the possession um, they were almost like uh, two boxers that were sort of feeling each other out for the first couple of rounds and then on 20 minutes um, Lucy Bronze popped up with a second goal of the season uh, to make it 1-0 to Manchester City and it stayed that way till um, half time Leah Galton had gone off just before half time break um, with an ankle injury which um, didn't look very good uh, and she was clearly distraught as she was being brought off the pitch and in a lot of discomfort so the teams went in um, one City one up and uh, came out second half United tried to do a bit of pushing and tried to do a bit, tried to catch City on the break. Um, but then uh, Lauren Hemp popped up with a second goal, um, and towards the end it was Caroline Weir with another wonder goal. Basically, um, most of Caroline's goals are, are very good goals. This perhaps wasn't a powerful shot, but it was just an absolute class shot um it was a perfect chip um perfectly weighted to just dip over the goalkeeper and into the net um to to make it 3-0 to Manchester City so we've done it you know we're two points behind um Chelsea with the game in hand and it it's looking really exciting for the the game against Chelsea um, at the Academy Stadium at the end of April um, because that could basically be the title decider um, and City we know want that trophy back after losing it last year on the points per game system um, after the curtailment of the season so um, City are going to want that Gareth has got to be happy with what he saw out tonight on the pitch. I thought Kira Walsh played absolutely amazing in midfield again. Um, Abby Greenwood, um, obviously Lucy Brands had a great game. Steph Orton was very influential in the defence, as always. Abby Dole Kemper, she's come in previously to this game and played two games and played really well, and it was just carrying on from there, really. Um, I thought that Georgia had a game. In fact, every player that, that were on the pitch had a good game. Um, uh, in the second half, Rose Lavelle came on for Ellen White and um, Laura Coombs came on for Caroline Weir. Um, but, yeah, every player that came out and played on that pitch, even the bit part, you know, um, they, they did something. They played their part. Um, but for me, if I had to pick one player that just, I thought, bossed it all, all game, um, it would have to be, I'm torn between Chloe Kelly and Kira Walsh because I think they both had really good games. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to split it and say they both deserve man of the match for me, but... In the uh, stadium, it was given to Lucy Bronze because she got this first goal uh, and got us on the way to that win. So I shall see you all again very, very soon. We've got the Champions League draw on um, Tuesday morning. So we'll be seeing who we've got in the next round for that. Um, so, yeah, watch this space. Bye for now.